strategist. Well, speaking of energy, speaking of supply, if Congress passes the Iranian nuclear deal, oil could flood the market, bring prices down even further. Our next guest says if that is the reason this deal is being done, we are trading cheap oil for our safety. Retired Lieutenant General Jerry Blinken with me now. He was one of the 200 retired generals and admirals who sent a letter telling Congress to reject the deal. General, so glad you're here with us. Why did you feel compelled to write this letter? Well, first of all, let me say that this is a bipartisan effort. No one that signed that letter was asked what their party affiliation is. And this is not about politics or economy. This is about national security and global security. And we felt compelled to uh, write this letter encouraging the members of Congress and the leadership in Congress not to support this deal because we are all concerned about the future of America as well as the uh, global stability. So how do you think this deal will threaten our security? This is a pathway to uh, Iran having a nuclear weapon. It will also, and in fact it will guarantee that, it, within a decade it will guarantee it. The second thing though is that it also puts a huge amount of money, uh, somewhere between 150 billion and maybe as much as 700 billion over a period of five years, into the hands of a rogue regime that has been the largest sponsor of terrorism for decades. And what this is going to do is enable them to fund Hezbollah, Hamas, and even uh, elements like Al-Qaeda that will benefit from this money that has gone into their coffers. This is about global security as well as national security. General, we are so glad to have your input on that. Thank you for making the time. Lieutenant General Jerry Boykin with us there.